The pathway to the peak is set. ICP or Internet Computer might be one of the cleanest projects out there. And in this video, I will tell you exactly why this is the case. In short, ICP is building nothing shy of a world computer and has the utility, it has the tokenomics and it has the vision for a great crypto project. But does this also mean it's a great investment for you? After all, it had some problems regarding the bankrupt exchange FTX. But don't worry, we will look at all the important data. As always, in this episode of Philprints, your one and only stop for crypto finance and trading, with me, you will gain the skill set as well as the mindset to crush the markets. Before we start, I really want to thank all of you as we surpass the first 100 subscribers on this channel. And this is just two weeks after my very first video. So let's head to 1000 subscribers next. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please ask yourself why and do it now. You really don't want to miss the next videos. Let's get to it. Before we go into the nitty and gritty of ICP, as well as long-term price predictions and tokenomics, let me quickly show you where we are now. For the last 50 days, we're basically heading sideways, which is something we're seeing for many altcoins, some more than others. And this is mostly because Bitcoin is chopping up and down if we're getting a tighter sideways range for bitcoin we could expect altcoins as well as icp of course to break out icp is in a very nice position here it bounced several times of the four hour ema 200 as well as this strong support range we will look at price projections short and long term a bit later in this video so stay around so let me tell you what internet computer is i will just scratch the surface as it's pretty deep and otherwise i will still be here talking to you tomorrow as this is a hack of a project and as this project is really developer focused and i'm a software developer myself this really triggers me this project is in development for around 10 years. It started out in 2014 and finally launched in May 2021. They are trying to build a world computer, a blockchain that you can build anything on. So basically they want to create a fully decentralized internet. And this allows you to host any application or website directly onto the blockchain. At this very moment, most applications and websites doesn't matter if they're big or small, are using cloud computing. As it's pretty easy to use, it's very adaptable, it's fairly cheap and is extremely good at scaling. For this, you usually use Amazon Web Services or AWS, Microsoft Azure or the Google Cloud Platform. There are more, but these are the biggest ones. And so that you really understand, even services like Airbnb decided to migrate nearly all of its cloud computing functions to Amazon Web Services. And this is the same for many more of these big, big services. For example, Toyota, Expedia, Goldman Sachs, Salesforce and Coca-Cola, you get the idea. So what you might ask, the thing is, everything's fine until one of those providers decides to switch single instances off or even one or multiple of the servers go down. So you basically have a single point of failure, as you can see in this table right here. All right, but there are already many blockchains where you can upload smart contracts and build decentralized apps, as on Ethereum and Solana. The thing is, smart contracts are just programming scripts. They're extremely, extremely small and they're for not expensive to host. But if you would store one gigabyte of data on the Ethereum blockchain, this would come out as $350 million in costs. And even on Solana, which is significantly cheaper, it would still be $800,000. Well, on ICP, this is just around $5 per year, which is pretty much on par with the centralized cloud computing services, where you also only pay what you use. So in all of crypto, nobody thought of this before? Well, not really. There are decentralized protocols like IPFS, Interplanetary File System, and decentralized storage systems such as Filecoin and Sia, and even decentralized domain systems like Ethereum name servers. The big difference is what you can host. And if we would compare Filecoin and R-Wave, which is another competitor, to ICP directly, we can see that with the other services, you can only host the front end, which means static content or the client side. This makes them more of a peer-to-peer -peer storage system. ICP, on the other hand, is able to host the back end as well. So basically dynamic content or the server side. And this in turn means that ICP is a full stack cloud platform and it's decentralized. 
And to my knowledge, there is not even a competitor. Please let me know down in the comment section if you know one. Well, and what would an app look like that's built on ICP? Definity, the founders of ICP, built basically a Telegram clone with OpenChat to demonstrate it themselves. So this is the app. You can just reach it within the browser as any website or web app. But under the hood, its hosting and operations is fully decentralized. One thing I'm seeing, and I don't know if this is a general issue, is that it's a bit slower. If I would type in something in this group chat as you can see it takes some time for the message to arrive so i don't know if this is some kind of security check or if it's really slower than centralized hosting at this moment please also let me know in the comment section if you have some experience with this already Definity, the team behind icp is actually blockchain's largest research and development operation and has over 250 employee patents with its founder dominic williams working full-time crypto since 2013. let's now look at the tokenomics which spoiler alert are also pretty impressive so first one of the most most important things the allocation and token unlocks is there any selling pressure we have to anticipate the team alone just has around 18 percent of the token supply then around 24 percent for the foundation a rounded 10 7 and 5 percent to the early backer strategic round and pre-sale which is kind of all right but a big 25 percent to the seed and private sale well okay but what does the vesting schedule tell us we actually don't have any information about the vesting schedule of the team and the foundation but the other ones basically basically started to unlock from the very beginning, which on itself is very bad and actually a red flag. But as you can see, most of the unlocks are already through as they went through the bear market, where we had big selling pressure one or the other way. So was this decision strategic and on purpose? As on top of that, the project started out in May 2021, which was the first top of the bull market. That's open for speculation, but fortunately we don't have too many unlocks to come. The last one will be on June 2025. Also, if we are looking at the core developers, we can see that over the last year, this was pretty constant. So at the beginning, around 130 developers and now 124. This is very important for the stability of the project. Also in green, you can see the code commits. And every few days, we have a ton of commits hitting the repository. So the constant amount of core developers is active in committing and developing. And if we're looking at the total amount of staked ICP, we can see that a whopping 47.9% of total supply is staked, which shows for amazing conviction of the community. This is more than 246 million ICP. And at the current price of around $12 per ICP, this would come out at over three billion dollars total staked capital and what's also amazing is that nearly half of this staked capital is locked up for eight years so this means you can't touch your icp before the end of these eight years well this is because of the governance system that icp has put into place and that pays out pretty nice rewards at this point in time if you lock up your icp for eight years you would get annualized around 16% in passive income. Even for just one year, this would come out around 9%. And why do users get rewards for staking? Well, as with many proof of stake blockchains, this is because of voting power. Basically, when ICP is staked, it creates a so-called neuron that can vote on proposals that update, manage and configure the network. And this brings me to the next part of tokenomics, which is the burn and inflation mechanisms. In general, for tokenomics, we're looking at everything that has an effect on supply and demand. And a burn mechanism is bringing down the supply, therefore making the asset more scarce and potentially driving up price. An inflation mechanism, on the other hand, is increasing supply. So when working together, these can balance out each other. In total, there are three of these mechanisms for ICP, the first one being network management and affecting supply inflationary. This is basically what I just showed you. You can stake your ICP tokens and get rewards. And these 
rewards are new tokens added to the supply. The second mechanism, which is also inflationary, is the participation reward. This is intended to reward key players, meaning instances who manage the nodes on which the network is hosted. The third and last mechanism is deflationary, meaning it's a burn mechanism, and revolves around creating cycles for computation. You have to know that besides the ICP token, there is also this cycles stablecoin. The thing is with blockchains like Ethereum, users have to pay commissions, meaning fees, for example, if you want to mint an NFT. But with ICP, the developers pre-charge the containers with the cycle stablecoin for a certain number of computing units they need to use, which is actually similar to how the traditional internet works and what cloud computing providers such as AWS do. Therefore, and this is crucial, users do not need to own ICP tokens to interact with hosted services or even know they are running on a blockchain. In simple words, this means that any computation on the network is burning ICP tokens as they are converted into cycle stablecoin. And this in turn again means something extraordinary. If many, many developers use ICP to host their services, they need a lot of computing power. And all of this computing power will burn ICP. And if this deflation is higher than the inflation through the other two mechanisms, this would mean ICP becoming deflationary as a whole similar to Ethereum. In this case, the supply of ICP would not only become fixed as it is with Bitcoin, but it will even reduce over time, making ICP more and more scarce. Crazy, isn't it? Now more and more you should understand why ICP is special. All right, let's get to the price prediction of ICP. What you see here is the whole chart of ICP starting out in May 2021. And from that point on, we had a 99% decline, which to be honest, looks extremely bad. But there's a reason for this. And this is the bankrupt exchange FTX. So actually the massive price decline of ICP is one of the many fraudulent actions that FTX did. Well, how did they do it? Actually, days before the mainnet launch, FTX rolled out the perpetual futures of ICP. So this means investors couldn't buy the real tokens on spot and resulted in people buying this contract and temporarily inflating the price. What FTX then did is to aggressively short ICP against the newly established liquidity, causing the 99% drop, tarnishing ICP's reputation before it could establish itself in the market. And this is basically everything that's to this. As I have shown you, this is actually one of the cleanest projects out there. So don't be fooled by this price action. So as I have shown you in the beginning, I expect ICP to break out to the upside if we manage to hold the 4 hour 200 EMA and this support zone, which is establishing for around 50 days now. ICP had one of the strongest runs from end of October 2023, where all of this altcoin mania started, making up for a 3x at the moment and to the peak more than 5x. If Bitcoin is to stay in a tight range, altcoins will be able to rally further. And the first price target we can expect for ICP is the 1.618, which sits at around $22.70. Sense. If we zoom out a little bit on the daily chart, we can see that this is actually a support and resistance zone as well, which plays into this thesis. So if we would indeed get this pump, I expect ICP to get a correction here. It's too early to tell what will happen here, as this depends on many of the overall market factors. But after this correction here, however it will turn out, we can expect the next targets, which will be the 2.618, also coinciding with this support and resistance zone. If we take a look at ICP long term, we have to say that the upside potential is a bit limited, but only at first sight. ICP is already a nearly $6 billion asset, and I would actually like to compare this to Solana, as it also struggled due to to manipulation by FTX. If ICP would match the market cap of Solana at the moment, we could look at a 7.4x bringing ICP to around $91. 
which is around here. And if we would go to the all time high market cap, we would look at around 14x, bringing ICP to around $170, which is around here. So basically, I would say that this is a reasonable top range, a more optimistic price prediction would incorporate a massive hype for ICP. As a matter of fact, we have everything you could wish for in a crypto project, but in a bull market, what drives price is hype. Therefore, we are seeing massive price surges for coins that basically don't have any utility. But if we get both, plus a deflationary scenario, <laughs> Oh my, then we could look at massive, massive price targets. I can't give you a number for that. This would be pure speculation. But what's for sure, in my opinion, is doesn't matter if we get 7x, 14x or like 50x. ICP seems to be a safe bet because of amazing utility, amazing team, amazing tokenomics, a potential deflationary scenario and an extreme vision of becoming the backbone of a fully decentralized internet. So please let me know down in the comment section, what's your take on ICP? Do you think that it is likely we could get multiples above 14x? For more in-depth altcoin reviews and price predictions, click here and click here if you want to see my latest video. I hope you gain massive value and if you haven't already, please subscribe now so you don't miss any of my next videos. As always, this was not financial advice. Please do your own research and due diligence. This was Footprints for you. Crush the markets until next time. Goodbye.